and when they are active in the community goes to Amalora Wilson. What you talking about? That's Omanora. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Sunrise. My mind is my greatest influence. I think, therefore I am. I am, therefore I will. That's the philosophy of the newly crowned Miss Jamaica Festival Queen 2024. Omanora Wilson, the 24-year-old, walked away from this past Sunday's coronation with the title after claiming it last Friday, right here on Sunrise. Welcome back to Sunrise, our Laura. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you so Whoa. much. And happy birthday. Thank you. Happy we did birthday, it birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. You know, I, I have to jump in and ask you, even watching back that video, how yes. did it feel yes. when your name was called, yes. when you were being crowned? When, what was that Listen, experience I'm like? Listen, I'm still a little teary because every time I watch the video, like, I feel that little uh, it's butterflies in my stomach and everything because I'm saying, listen, you didn't expect to get this. You don't know where they're going to forget this, but mm. you got it. So mm. if, when they called my name like backstage, my my sister queens were like, don't cry, girl. Stop your body. Yeah. But we start to ball already because I said, oh, God, <laughs> trust me. It's I feel you're elated, you're proud, you're filled with pride. I, why? I still don't know how to explain it for you. You had imagine. no expectation, which means that you didn't enter thinking that I'm going to win, or perhaps while you're in the competition, you weren't thinking that you are the winner. But you entered the second time. Yes. It wasn't your first time. No. Why did you enter again? So the first time I had entered, I was in high school. I remember after that, I had a talk with my regional manager, and she's saying like, oh, well, you know, you know what holds you back in this conversation? You have no idea what the world is like. You're in your little shell. And so when they ask you to express yourself, you can only express it from the shell that you're in. Mm. So when I went back to university, and I'm the guild president, and I was the guild president when COVID just finish and we're going back to face to face and so a big part of it was bringing back culture to the University of the West Indies and I realized in that moment that my campus was somewhat lost from what true Jamaican culture is and true Caribbean culture and when I was ending my tenure I was wondering I found myself in a lot of culturally active um, situations so I was doing hosting for cultural events I was performing that culture I was judging cultural events and I realized that I needed to get my young people back into cultural integration and cultural representation and so and then I had my involvement in my community and I was like listen I need to take this platform and get people active in Jamaican culture if they see me on the TV Mm. At least they might say to themselves, come, Oma Laura, do it, yeah. let's do it too. So yeah. I guess that was my go ahead. So, yeah. so you, won the, you won the overall crowd, but, yes. uh, but you also had sectional prizes. So yes. let, me, let me see here. You won most active in the community yes. especially. Yes. So what, what, what has your community engagement been like? What has that work been like for you? Tell well, us more about that. When I, I started being active in my community when I was at high school. Um, before that, I was here and there, but high school was when I really kind of plummet into it. I love my community. And for me, community is not just um, where you live, but my community is where I actually live, my school community, and then, of course, regional and national development as a community. And whenever I see something that I'm passionate about, and I'm always passionate about giving back and making an impact in the spaces that I go, I'm going to go and go ahead and do it. So when I was in high school, like, I did, I remember my first thing that I did, I did a summer project, a summer art school, and I said it in pre-judging 
that when I went around the whole summer and advertised it, I said, I don't want art school. Mm -hmm. So instead of sending the, the children back to summer school at school, but I'm going to learn something different. One, student, one child came, oh. and my mommy sent my sister, so I never feel, you know? <laughs> and so the next, year, <laughs> the next year when I did it, I said, listen, you have to go hard this year, go around and beg people. And then I did it. And um, it really came back to me, and I was like, you know what? I think people in my community need this. I think that kind of pushed me now to go forward to see where persons can benefit from these things. So my community involvement is in my community, in my schools, um, at the university and high school level, and I find myself doing things on a regional level as well. Mm. You know, Saint Elizabeth, the, Saint Elizabeth mm. they have not been cheering recent times because of Hurricane right. Beryl. But you gave them something to cheer about. Yes. Of course, because now the Queen it's is from, from Saint what they call Saint Elizabeth, the, the, the bread basket. The bread basket parish. parish, you know? Yes. From the chair. But I mean, how does that make you feel? I. Braille has done so much um, for the people of Saint Elizabeth in terms of our spirit. You're right about that. And when it comes down to Festival Queen, I am the second person from St. Elizabeth to ever be given that title of Mr. Jamaica Festival Queen. And so when I went to the competition, I know I go hard because St. Elizabeth people look and say, them girl, I go win the competition. When I won this competition, the entire St. Elizabeth went from here to here. Whoa. So every time you look, you're like, oh my God, for we parish, yeah. this girl gone for And oh it feels God. good because we needed that. We needed yes, that yes. in what we're going through. It's difficult down there. It's been a month and couple of days and people think that we are on our way. We have a long way to go. And so this is like a ray of light in, in, in terms of just everything that we're going through. So I'm really happy to just do this so you're saying to people my breadbasket parish me love you know mm. and so this crown is not just for me it's for my community it's for my parish to show that the breadbasket parish is resilient well, you know you know your effervescence is part of the mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 it is it's but that's engaging. why you win girl yeah, it's infectious but, you, know? but you mentioned a long way to mm -hmm. go talk mm -hmm. to us about your the rest of your journey so what are some of your goals or um, plans beyond this reign? Well, I definitely want to get active with my community project. My community project is Sign Seal Jamaica. Um, I have a young lady who sat on my guild. Her name is Zante Thomas. I think she's one of your co-workers. Mm. Mm. And Zante was the one who actually introduced us to sign language as an official language, a way of communication. Mm. And so before it was just sign language. But what she did is shows that, listen, this is how a community communicates, and you have to start accepting that as people in Jamaica. And as time progressed, I got very much interested in how this community worked. And then I realized that in my community, and we have a deaf community in St. Elizabeth, we don't really appreciate them. And respect them as individuals or Jamaicans and so I want it to happen from the baby stage I want children in primary school to be able to understand what sign language is and when they see persons doing sign language they're not shocked or they don't mock it but they understand that it's a way of communication our culture is it stands on the basis of out of many one people and so we are, we are too diverse of a culture to not understand that this is a part of our culture and we took it a step further in terms of the planning team to ensure that we're not just teaching them sign language but we're teaching them cultural forms of sign language so they must know if you sign a miss yes, yes. they must know if you sign a poem and yes, so, yes. so that when we come together at the end of this yes. um execution mm -hmm. i can have a, a, a even a, a show or a concert and people are able to just you know That's bring cool. it across yes. and of course i want to get more, more young people active in cultural awareness and cultural promotion and so i want to work with them to get it out there so that's one of my key things too going into the schools taking on platforms anyone who want me as yes. as jcd said yes. i'll go yes. um, to <laughs> deal with the young people to get them out there. So as soon as we get our folk farms being integrated by young people, I think I've done my you job. Really, you know, listen, mm. on August 6th, the entire country were celebrating our independence, and of course, in the national stadium, it was huge. Yes. Yesterday, August 7th, we were celebrating because we mined gold for the first time. Yes. This Olympics. Today, August yes. 8th, is extra special. Yeah. Because it's the day. 24 years ago. Yes. That someone special was born. Yes. Yes, and we were celebrating. The queen was born. The queen you know? was born. Yeah. <laughs> a queen was born. So Let me tell you something. We do, we do things big. We, we do things just, big. I no, we can't just have birthday yes, yes. just come no, and go. No, no, no. no, no. Okay, that's yeah, not yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who <laughs> going to serenade her? Who going? Leo, come here now. Come, come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Hold the camera for Leo. Leo, come sing it. Come, Leo, come sing it. Come, Leo, come. This is our song. This is our song. I know we're not. This is, in the mic, this is our sound. This is our sound. Give me yeah, the microphone. Let's give him a mic. Because yes, yes. we can't sing this for you. Yeah, but, There's but, no way. You're going to have to. You're going to definitely have to uh, yeah. blow out your candle. But after the song. Uh, ready? Uh, after three. In French. Oh, do, toi. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Omi. Happy birthday to you. That's where we wrap things up. That's Make a wish, blow out and candle, and that will be it. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you, Leo. What's your wish? I want your advice well, about it. Yeah. I can't tell you. Yes. Our guest. And. This morning's been Amanoa Wilson, oh, Mr. Maker Principal Queen 2024. But before you go, before you go, I know you want to say one last thing to mm -hmm. somebody somewhere. Say it. I want to say thank you, Jamaica, for really and truly just supporting me along this journey. I love and appreciate you and look out for your Jamaican queen. Aww, <laughs> I love thank you. Thank you. I hope you I hope you all share that uh, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs>